Hey guys, welcome back to our Clone Wars reactions. My name is Ryan Milkey and that's Headless Ned Stark. In the previous arc on Headless's channel, we just finished the Mandalore arc for Clone Wars and it was such a good one. We got to learn about Satine and Obi-Wan and their relationship and things like that. But this week, we've got a special for you. We're going to be reacting to two episodes today and then two episodes on Headless's channel on Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to his channel because you don't want to miss this awesome arc that we're about to get into. All I'm going to say is the first episode is season three, episode 12, and this one's called Night Sisters. Guys, let's just do it. Let's break it down. Don't forget to hit that like button and let's and let's watch along. Night Sisters, I can't believe we're actually here. <laughs> the swiftest path to destruction is through vengeance. That's a Sidious line. I almost did the intro as the, the narrator guy. Welcome to our Clone Wars reactions. <laughs> Asajj Ventress, thank you. I, I asked for this last arc and I got it. Is she's that got her a, ship? That is she, really got, cool. Yeah, her ship is pretty badass too. Wow. Yeah, we haven't seen her since season one. Yeah, no, I really like her. She's probably one of my favorite dark characters. That ship is sweet. Where's that, where's that Lego at? There's... <laughs> Taking that out, Lord Tyrannus. My Lord Tyrannus. There is a disturbance. There's always Your a disturbance. Sith apprentice to destroy me. <laughs> exactly. But this is my point I that we had when we brought this up because the rule of two. You know. You yep. must prove it. Eliminate. So, so he's getting a bit she's angsty because she's got power. Mm. Yep. Eliminate her. It's just, it shows the, it just proves to show like how power hungry that Sidious is, you know, and he doesn't oh, yeah. even, he doesn't care that she can be like such a good asset to them, but because he's so like, he knows what he did to his master, you know, Plagueis, and yet he's so afraid that it's going to happen to him again. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, in the long run, we know what happens with Vader and him and, you know, so it's, it's not like he's, he's wrong. Come on. But somehow he always returns. He does always return. So again, we're here in season three, way more crisp. I think the the audio sounds amazing. Yeah, you get to see, see the evolution of the show. Yeah, you literally read my mind. You must have Jedi powers yourself because I'm literally <laughs> thinking, this is my first introduction to a new season and it just looks like a movie. It looks like Star Wars. It doesn't feel like animation, you know? Yep. I see you. I've got her. Especially those wide screens like that, the ships. I was going to say, someone's got to shoot through that huge red aim at me shield she's got on the ship. Uh oh. I'm going to see some lightsabers right now. You are no longer my apprentice. And now Dumped by text. Oh! <laughs> That's a good point. That's kind of what that is. Didn't even have the guts to talk to her to her face. He did it over text message. <laughs> Here we go. She should have dressed up as Satine and he would have been all weak at the knees. Yeah, that's right. I mean, right now, so, so right now she's taking out like the two of the strongest warriors that the Jedi have. Come on. Oh, she's good. I like her. Leave no traces. Look how good the lightsaber battles are. Oh! See? That's where you gotta get some, yourself some Cad Bane uh, tubes. Oh, there's blasting oh. away. They did what Kylo couldn't. Spaceships not have hacked like parking brakes so they're gonna fly the ship straight into it wait didn't obi-wan just land the ship because it was busted yeah his is kind of broke i'm not loving that escape i mean what was the point no. of landing by your command. And nobody saw the uh ship fly out huh and he can't sense that she's still alive within the presence of the force or the dark side he's probably doing that right now i don't think he believes it so now he's without he's what is he's without an apprentice dooku yeah yeah Nice cannon. Cool glasses, dude. I mean, I, I don't even know who these guys are. Oh, Neither. Not too talkative, yeah. are you? She's gonna slay all of you. Dathomir. Interesting. We're going to Dathomir. So many planets within the Star Wars systems. And for some reason, we have to keep going back to Tatooine in the shows. <laughs> yep. So this is this a home planet? Well, this is the home planet of Darth Maul. Oh, Death of Mir, yeah. See, these guys are these guys are wielding those cool bowls way before Omega did in Bad Batch. Mother, Mother Tesla. 
where was all this stuff in the movies? <laughs> Bring the water of life. Did you get that from the pools of Mandalore? <laughs> Maybe not. Looks like Grogu's blood. It's a uh, ecto cooler. <laughs> you guys ever have ecto cooler over in UK? No, like I don't think so. Like the from Ghostbusters, like the Slimer or whatever. It's like the juice you box. We used to be called no. ecto cooler. That's what it looks like. No, I don't, don't think we got that. Okay. <laughs> it killed you. What killed you? Oh, Jedi's. Yep. Oh, she, from a young age, had hatred towards Jedi's. Who's that? I think it's Dooku. Remember, Dooku used to be a Jedi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, there's the teenage phase. So she's like the dark version of Ahsoka. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we were wrong. So it wasn't Dooku. This dude doesn't even get a name. That's not very nice. Oh, so she's gonna go on a revenge pass pass for Dooku. Yeah. It's the only downfall with knowing it's not her that gives Dooku his final fate. Yeah. So she 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 tries to become a Jedi. And then because her master dies, she, she, she wants to destroy all the Jedi. Like, what, like, I'm confused. Why? Yes, same. I don't know. I don't understand that. What, Unless now that she Maul's dead? What'd you say? I said, now that Maul's dead, she said they're our greatest warriors. I'm like, yeah, now that Maul's dead. Oh, they're dancing. The only thing I could think of is that she was looking for a new master and it just happened to be Dooku. And at that time, maybe Dooku didn't have his true intentions of the dark side like yet, you know? Yeah. Because I'm trying to figure out why she would turn we on the Jedi. We assembled a push in order to reach Dooku's palace and step into the mid. Find an invisibility cloak. Oh, pretty much is the same thing. There you go. Nice. That's creepy. Now turn to us. We shall prevail. She's badass. Dude, I want I need to see her in live action, you know? Yeah. Again, so, just just so much more they could do. I, I just I don't understand what Disney's doing. Like all these awesome characters that were created in this. Like, give me a standalone movie of Asan's Ventress and just her whole backstory and you so know you, you, Good. No, I was just saying, like, give me an entire movie. And her backstory, and you know, you can end it like when she hooks up with Dooku because we know how you know, we know what happens after that. I don't know, just yeah, or just replace Reva with Versace Ventress from yeah, right, Obi -Wan. right. How much better would that show have been if it was Versace Ventress in there instead of Reva? Yeah, just just an idea. <laughs> so again, they just, they just they try to make these new characters when you have so many good ones already made. No, oh. Dooku stinks then. Okay. So, you can see him sleeping on that bed. Why do you have to go into there? Why can't you just shoot a dart from the roof? Yeah, I don't know why. Well, here's the dart now, but... He's about to get teleported to Star Trek and start seeing Klingons. So he believed it was a Jedi. I wonder who the lightsabers belong to. Dead Jedi. Awesome throne room. Nice. Dooku's just taking out three of these guys right now. He'll know it's her from her fighting style. You would think. Her. Why would you have to just kill him? Ooh! People fall out of windows all the time in Star Wars, and they survive. It's fine. <laughs> Although I'm still waiting for a specific guy. Now that was a failure. Mm-hmm. I'm liking the music. Very ominous. Mm-hmm. Mother, we've... We failed. failed. Where one sees failure, others see opportunity. What do you mean, ma? Your infiltration proves Dooku is vulnerable. He will be eager to protect him now. Okay. By finding for you. I wonder who it will be. I honestly do not remember. 
She was once one of ours. It is true okay. that your warrior. Since you could Here. not tame. I wonder if this is um. I shall take you up on it. I wonder if this is Excellent. Maul's brother. I don't know. It, it might be. Mm, cool. Let's get into the next one. Monster. Episode 13. That last episode was awesome. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, it's good. There you go. Evil is not, Evil born, is not is born. It is taught. Like, can, we, can, we, can we just make a movie called The Night Sisters? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Base it on Dathomir, you know? Yep. Have we seen Dathomir in live action yet? No. We have much. Very trusting of him to just go, go to the world of the species of his previous thing that he just ordered death. I don't know, a bit, bit, bit very trusting. I believe the old alliance can again be what it once was. Very magical-esque. You must go. Yeah, there's there's definitely magic in Star Wars, and I know that's what they're talking about, trying to do uh, moving forward in a in Ahsoka. I know in the series they want to bring in th this magic. Okay. Oh, he was split in half. Let's go. Savage Press, Maul's brother, great character. Men are easy to acquire. Ooh, let's go! I must say, this is called Clone Wars. Yeah. And I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any since season one. <laughs> yeah, no. I see Cody now and then, but it, yeah. Yeah, but remember, it's it's it, the Clone Wars is just like the name of the war, you know? Yeah, yeah, a, an era of time within space, Star Wars. Right. That so that doesn't look like Lego. Oh, what'd you say? I'm sorry, what was that? I said that ship doesn't look like Lego. No, that one's not too Lego y. Whoa, look, this is more people. Whoa! Yep. Maybe we'll see the armory here. Welcome, Just saying. Sister. I have come for <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes, of course. Too small. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Don't pick on the small dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, These cool. That could be a whole new trilogy just for Star Wars right there. I know, right? This would be a great movie. Yeah, this is like Hunger Games. Sounds like Captain Rex. I wonder who, I wonder if D. Bradley Baker voices him. He probably does. Probably. They're not thinking. They're being typical men. They're rushing ahead. They're not you're going in with a plan. Yep. Oh! He ain't gonna make it round two. Where was the Sarge Ventress when Danny was being attacked in Game in King in Game of Thrones? With the Night King throwing spears. She could have caught it and choked it back. <laughs> it's creepy, dude. <laughs> That's such cool sound design. She starts in this ear and she finishes her laugh all the way over in this ear. That's amazing. Oh. Look above you. So they're actually brothers. I don't know. Um, I mean, I always keep calling them brother, but I don't. I don't know if that's like a clan thing. Yeah. Well, they were training at the beginning, and he told him not to draw too much attention to himself. So I think he cares for him in the sense he doesn't want him to die. Right. And then he saved his life. It is what I keep thinking. This would be an awesome TV show. Awesome movie. Oh. Why does he fight back? Doesn't even, even take a punch. So fast. Has he hit her yet? I don't think so. <laughs> this would be a pretty cool board for like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. For, like a video game, yeah. You know, it had like the platforms yeah, up and different down. Different platforms moving, yeah. And then when you finish him, you could use your power to bring all of the things in and then crush them in into one big one. And it crushes him inside it. He will serve us well. What I'm liking about the Clone Wars is it's showing us that it isn't all just Jedi and Sith. There is so many other differences, be it good, be it bad, be it, 
you know, any kind of, I don't know, just, it, yeah, it just shows you all the different species, and I absolutely love it. If, if for me, this is like, it just, it's more interesting than what they did with Andor. Like, there's no lightsabers in this, you know, and I know there's no lightsabers in Andor, but, like, look how much better this is than Andor. Like, I, uh, dude, I know you haven't watched it, but, like, what, they should have made this uh, a series. Mm-hmm. And this is why I love watching this. This is why I love watching this again, because I, I don't even remember this. I didn't, I couldn't remember this is how, like, he, he actually came into play. Because, again, this is Maul's Ooh, brother, we find out. I like how she said that he was a perfectly specimen, and then they went and changed him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> now he's changed. Oh, he's evil. And I love the difference in color, color contrast. Like, Maul was red, and this guy's yellow. Oh, wait, he grew as well. It's like the mountain, dude. Hmm. Kill his brother. Don't make him kill his bloody brother. Oh, yeah. God's sake. Don't do it. He's been changed, though. Do not do this. No. Brother. Give him the Ober and Tyrell treatment and squeeze his eyeballs through his head. Weakling. Savage. Oh, yeah, this is all just to get to Dooku, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of taken out of that for a second there. Here we are, he's going to be impressed now, isn't he? I like how they're doing this. They're coming out as sisters first, and then they'll do the grand reveal, and he'll step out. So I like how she speaks, and it's like there's a male demon speaking as well. So your first test is to try and kill me right now. Hmm. If you're going to be my protector, you need to know. Try and kill me, you know? Very highly of your my lord. So he's not trained as a Jedi, so he doesn't have a lightsaber. He has this new this new mystical staff that he was given. At, for right now, yeah. Okay. There's a lot in this episode. Yeah. I wasn't expecting I, th I was expecting this to be the next episode. It's just slicing his way through. <laughs> Those little kids dead. Oh my god. It is done, my lord. My master. Is it finished? Yes. Hmm. The temple. Just do it two Jedi there, though? Dead. Immediately. Very well, my lord. That's it? You don't need me to do anything else? Like, even go inside and have a cup of tea? <laughs> my lord. I like his name, Savage. It's a bit close to Visage, but... Soon your close. Will rival that of the Savage or Press. Oh, that's your downfall. Mm. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Loved it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, some, it's a good start. We still have, like... Two more episodes. I think it's a four away. I think it's a four story arc for this one too, if I if I remember correctly. Yeah, awesome. it's good stuff. And we and we get to see more more of him throughout the uh, the rest of the seasons as well, which is good because he's he's a great character. You know, again, that's just another example of another Funko Pop that um, I, I, I want to say they made that him, but I think it's a dual pack with Maul. I don't know if he has his own. Um, I'd have to look and see. He might he might, but I think it might be more of like a. You know how they do those gaming greats, game of us, or whatever it is. Yeah, it's it's a it's a weird it's a weird one. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, just like why is he not part of the Clone Wars like line? I don't know because I would have it if it yeah. was. I haven't de dug deep into looking at the Funko Pops for this because I know that just seeing a Funko Pop could be a spoiler for anything in the future, so I've stayed away from them. But yeah, I'm super excited to look at the Clone Wars pops because yeah, some of them are cool and these characters are amazing. Yeah, it, it, they do such a good job, and yeah, um, but yeah, it's it's a great arc, and the best. This is the best of season three, honestly. Like, it, there's not a whole lot of Ahsoka in this. Uh, we get a lot more Ahsoka in, uh, you know, in seasons four and five. So, yeah, I don't remember the last time I even saw Ahsoka. I think it was at the beginning of the um, the Mandalore the, the part. The beginning of yeah, the beginning of the Mandalore part. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it, you know, they they these do there's a lot of like single adventures that they go on and it's just um for the overall arching story it's not as important as learning about these these characters that we'll see later on yeah and, and this one didn't even have obi-wan or anakin mm -hmm. or you know it was mainly dark characters in this whole in this whole arc yeah it was like yep so yeah i can't wait that's... i can't wait to get into it and there's two more again that we're going to be watching on your channel on thursday mm -hmm. so yeah that, that's going to be a good one so anything else you want to add before we, we get out of here with this one no, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm just glad we're rewatching these because it really does help me remember. Oh yeah, I forgot. I I totally forgot that Savage became uh, Dooku's apprentice. Like I totally forgot about it. You know, it just so it's it's a good refresher because it's been a while for me. Yeah, man. Like I'm surprised I didn't get that spoiled. Like I had no idea that we were going to get a yellow guy that looked like Maul that was going to be <laughs> working with Dooku. Like what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, because the prequels we don't get any of that story at all we just see dooku sitting in his room and you know anakin and everyone turn up and that's it basically and we get hardly so, yes. any we get hardly anything on maul i mean he says like 10 words and you know exactly. he's just a bad he's just a badass looking character and that we don't really know much about you know and this is why mm -hmm. this this is why this was so good and then i mean just i mean i i know some stuff that comes later in season four and season five just do just wait <laughs> So yeah, cool. I can't wait, dude. I, I yeah. can't wait. But yeah, on that note, badass was the word you used. I'm going to re-emphasize that word, badass. This current arc that we're watching, it's only halfway done, guys. And so far, it's badass for me. Yeah. I wish I could just literally use my remote right now and jump straight to Thursday so we can enjoy the next episode. But don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and comment down below as well. Are you aware of Maul having a brother and stuff like that from watching the movies or, you know, because I haven't watched The Clone Wars, so I'd be interested to know if you guys have that kind of information and that kind of knowledge, if you have watched it or even if you haven't watched it. But yeah, I'd be interested to hear. So don't forget, guys. My name's been Ryan Milky. That's been Headless Ned Stark. Don't forget, keep those heads on and stay milky. We'll see you later.